lot. Old Hopcroft said I could have as many as I wanted. Tasty, a bit wrinkled, but a damn good keeper. He named an apple after you? Cause of my rosy cheeks, and I cured his leg for him after he fell off that ladder last year, and I made him some jollop for his bald head. It didn't work, though. That wig he wears, that's a terrible thing to see on a man still alive. But he was pleased I took an interest. He sells his apple trees all over the place. Funny, eh, to think that pretty soon thousands of people will be having a bite of Nanny Og. Thousands more. Thank you, Esme. Oh, you ain't jealous, are you, Esme? You ain't begrudging me my little moment in the sun. Me? Jealous? Why should I be jealous? It's only an apple. It's not as if it's anything important. That's what I thought. It's just a little frippery to humor an old lady. So, how are things with you, then? Fine. Got your winter wood in, have you? Mostly. Good. Your potatoes. Got them dug, then? Yes. We got a good crop off ours this year. Good. Salted your beans, have you? Yes. I expect you're looking forward to the trials next week. Yes. I expect you've been practicing. You coming over to dinner on Sunday? What are you having? Pork. With applesauce? No. Oh, well. Can't sit here chatting all day. Always busy at this time of year, ain't it? Yes. So, I'll be off then. Goodbye.